What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mamak Sessions. This is the number one show on Spotify in Malaysia. Woo! My name is Jin. My name is Brandon. My name is Xu Fei. And uh, thank you very much for listening to all of us. Like, you guys are amazing. How have you been? I've been good, man. I didn't ask you, I asked our listeners. Oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> I was sick for the whole week, so I'm excited to be back, okay? Yeah, okay, you know what? Brandon, how have you been, man? I've been good, man. I've been just recovered from uh, being sick, so it's good to be back. What, what you, you felt sick, man? Oh, yeah, you did. The other day, I was I co- so sick, man. I messaged him, right? I was, what, what, was, what, was I, what was I messaging you about already, yeah? You literally, were, you were asking me, like, hey, you, you want to do the podcast on Monday? And I thought it was tomorrow. It was no, Sunday. no, no, no. I messaged him about his bottle cap challenge. Oh, I didn't reply. Uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it, and it was so funny because uh, it was quite quite cool because uh, you know everybody was doing the whole bottle cap challenge where people actually graze the bottle cap and the bottle cap flies off, right? Mm-hmm. He kicked his phone. <laughs> my dad was there and he was laughing the entire time. He was like, D, my phone, my phone. And he was just having so much fun. But yeah, I'm back, I'm back. I'm feeling much better. Thanks. <laughs> uh, before we move on, I just want to say that this show is brought to you by Da Makan. If you're wondering what Damakan is, it's actually an app for you to order food and pre-order your meals so that you can basically show up on your doorstep when you are ready to eat. The most convenient thing on planet Earth, right? You yep. wake up and then there's food at your doorstep. Not just any food, but good food. Yeah, yes. um, and uh, basically this helps you to be the... Um, <laughs> the most laziest person in the whole wide world <laughs> because, you know, we live in the world where we don't want to leave our couch and we want everything done for us. Yeah, you feel like a boss. Hashtag like a boss. Now, this time, uh, let's hear something interesting with Damakan. Some of the orders are paired out with donuts. Mm. So some of the orders are when you order, they'll give you two crispy, 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 I can't pronounce it properly, <laughs> two crispy cream donuts while stocks last. So go order now. The moment you listen to this podcast, guys, if you guys are watching this right now, instantly go on to your your app, app yeah. store or what iTunes? No, you go to yeah, go to your uh, yeah, go to your app store, app your Android store, right? store or your iTunes store. Download the app mm. uh, and of course use this code. That's right. It is B Tasty Mamak. All right, B E T A S T Y M A M A K. All right, we're gonna put it on the screen right now. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, okay, and use it to get twelve ringgit off your first order with Da Makan Da. Okay, if the if the if the dish is less than twelve ringgit, you get it for free. <laughs> That's right. So to all you cheapskate out, cheapskates out there, if you say that we don't give you stuff for free, ha! Huh, yes, we're giving you something for free right now. Thank you very much. Uh, remember, you can order. Uh, some of the meals are uh, basically coupled with uh, the Krispy Kreme donuts, and it is, I would say, for a limited time only, while stocks last. So get it now. Yes, exactly. Now, um, you know, at one point in time, right? Uh, we actually ask people to suggest uh, topics in. Uh, so that we can talk uh, talk about it on the show and stuff like that. Yeah. And then, you know, people started, you know, sliding into our DMs and say, hey, you know what? You ask us to suggest this, suggest, how come you all never talk about the topics that we suggest? So today, we are basically going to be sliding into our own DMs, <laughs> not sliding into our own DMs. Reading our DMs. We're going to be reading our DMs and we are going to be basically talking about the topics that you want us to talk about. I just have to say that most of them are all relationship-based. Huh? <laughs> no, uh, I got some that aren't, Relationship based. Oh really? Yep. Hi Shifei, what's your number? Are you single? <laughs> you know, can I go out with you? Could you please reply me? Could you please follow me? <laughs> so you see all Ginny boy, Ginny boy, Ginny boy, Ginny boy, Ginny boy. I think I get those messages, but I don't. Really? What kind of messages do you get in your DM? Like, I mean, okay, just between the three of us, right? What kind of messages do you guys get in a DM? Uh, to be honest, uh, I okay, I think most of the most of the DMs I get is uh, for hey, internship. Hi. Hey, hi, huh. are you there? <laughs> that's that's about it. And uh, maybe if we release a video, people will actually, you know, uh, message and say, hey, nice videos and stuff like that. That's about it. Okay, that's nice though. I mean, not, nothing offensive in nature, yeah, no, yeah, no yeah. harassment, nothing like, you know, no bullying or things like that, right? Uh, no, for me, no, actually. Oh. I mean, like I haven't gotten any girls sending their pictures to me. <laughs> Well, usually I get I get a lot of laughing emojis. Oh, is it? Yeah, I mean, maybe people think I'm funny. Oh. <laughs> Don't be so self-deprecating. <laughs> um. no, maybe I people it, think I'm no, funny legit. and then she frowns. Laugh face, laugh face, heart shape face. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah, the heart shape face is probably like, oh, you know, I'm so in love with you. Okay, I, I have one here. I just want to read some stuff. Um, So we've got this uh message coming in from Sabrina. Mm-hmm. And uh, her username is Sabrina Ch- Okay, you know what? I'm not going to read the whole thing because I don't know how to pronounce it. But she's got a pretty cool display picture. It's pretty cute. It's a picture of a dog. 
Okay. Go on with the yeah. message. Uh-huh. Go on. <laughs> Sabrina asks, does age gap matter in a relationship? Ooh. Depends how old are you. Depends how old. Yeah, oh. if you're younger, I feel like it does matter. Huh? Because you're really young, what? Okay, okay. Huh? You wouldn't want to... I mean, like, I think it's dangerous to date someone like really old. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, but if I think if you're like older, maybe like if you're in your twenties or thirties, I think age gap doesn't matter anymore. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah I kind of agree with that. You know, when you're young, it's, for example, if you say you're fifteen years old, you're gonna be dating someone who's twenty five years old. Obviously, there's gonna be some generation gap. That obviously there's gonna be some things that you talk about that the other party won't understand. Like if you're gonna talk about work, the other person is probably facing a PMR or something like that or PT three right now. So there are gonna there's gonna be a generation gap where you won't understand understand each other but as you grow older as things start to you know go in the same line where you guys are working for example yeah. then they're going to be common topics then the blind starts to blur then I agree with Shufei then it starts to not matter anymore until again I feel like it will come back again like for example if the other party is 65 and you're 55 and that person is retiring and the person is going to be a lot uh, around the home a lot and then there's going to be another problem again so it's like a, it's, for me it's like a curve where it goes like this and then it sort of stabilizes. And then like for no, for sorry, for those listening, how I, they can't see the curve. <laughs> 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 sorry, the curve looks like a bell. Oh, like a okay, like a bell. Yeah, I would never ever date someone who is uh, at least more than three years gap with me. I think I think the, at most I would go is four. But what's same, the logic same. behind that for you? I don't know. I just don't think that they would be in the same wavelength as me. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 you know, when you grow older. You, uh, yeah, I know. Okay, I understand where where you know you you will come to a point where age doesn't matter, but it's because uh both of you are already used to each other. You don't really talk. You don't really go, ev- uh, go on with every day consciously uh having the thought behind your head saying like oh you know we are five years apart. Oh we're six years apart. But for, for me it's like I would probably want someone who is. Like, you know, I would say one year younger than me or at most three years. Michelle, Michelle is actually three years younger than me. Right. So That's she just... Yeah. Ngam pas. Yeah. Ngam ngam pas. How old are you? Three years saying, okay, okay, pass, pass. I don't know whether because it's, a, it's the upbringing, you know, my mom... I, I, I don't know because... When we were in high school, right, we always think that oh, number one, as a guy, like, okay, I'm not sure whether uh, about I'm not sure uh, about a girl, but as a guy, right, you always number one, you don't date girls who are older than you. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I'm being, I grew up that way, thinking that way. Uh, okay, okay. I, was I, w- just, I was just about to ask, will you date someone yeah. older? Yeah. So the thing is, I was brought up to think that the male are always the more dominant one. They always have to provide for the family. Mm-hmm. And then they're always the more mature one. And then when you say you're the more mature one, it means you're the more older one. You know what right. I mean? And then, you know, you always have to date a girl who's younger because you need to take care of them. I, I know I was brought up with this mentality like, or maybe mm. the movies has always perceived it this way. But as we grow older, yeah, I know. I I don't know. I, I For me, it's, I've never tried dating someone who is like younger than me by five or six or more years. La. Yeah, but just to pick up on what you said, you see, when for you in your head as, as I mean, at least back then, lah, huh? yeah. you thought that maturity comes with age. Now, that's the biggest problem. The correlation between age and maturity is yeah. actually almost zit. Z- like, no, yeah, I think I no. The older you are, the more mature you, you, you are. I think so. Because like when you're older already, right? Okay, let's say for example, okay, 15 years old. Or okay, okay. Let's not let's not say fifteen years old, lah, yeah, Okay, yeah, let's yeah. just say, uh, eighteen. Okay, legal age, eighteen mm. or nineteen. You know, after high school, you're in college. You're kind of like a free soul. You can do whatever you want. You can make your own decisions, right? You are only eighteen years old. You've only been alive for the past eighteen years, right? Yeah. You know, you're the first time in college. You're out. You're adulting. You're just about to adult. All right. And we date someone who's like twenty nine years old, thirty years old. They're already in the working world. They've mm. grown up. You know, they probably uh, switched a, a few jobs, dated a few other people. You know what I mean? They 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 have it all sorted. They they know what they want. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Um, and uh, they are more like focused. And the thing is, this person who's eighteen years old is just getting into the teenager life. No, but the thing is that I don't. Uh, no, no, wait, wait. Sorry, getting, getting sorry. I just, just, just they're getting to the adulting uh-huh. life. And there's so much things to look forward to. Right. You know what I mean? This so, like their first experience clubbing, their first experience doing this with a bunch of friends who are their age. Because you know why? When you date someone who's a lot older than you, you have to hang out with his circle of friends because right. I don't think he's but, gonna be hanging okay out with la. your circle of friends. But look at the good side. I think some of those kind of relationships actually work because if you date someone way older than you, you actually mature faster than your current like age. 
Yeah, oh. but that okay. No, I, I. But to me, when you when you try so hard to mature faster, then you lose out on your your teenage years. You lose out on your young years. Okay, I think we need to first of all define maturity because obviously I am not on the same page with you guys. I respectfully yeah, I disagree what you with mean. the both I of you. I understand what you mean because your maturity to me, what you are saying right now, is the person goes clubbing, the fellow goes working, and then that that is the telltale signs of maturity. To me, that is not even close. Yeah, to I what understand being what you mean. That means. is like stages of life. That's to just you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going okay, through the I motions understand. of life, you know, yes, adulting, yes, but that's not maturity dude I'm, I'm, and for me maturity is something like you grow up having empathy you grow up putting others before you you grow up knowing the value of hard work you grow up knowing the value of money for example mm-hmm. these are things that lend to your maturity I know it sounds different yeah, yeah, yeah I understand what you but mean but you know so. what I mean so yeah, that yeah. is what maturity to me means so you can be 18 years old and you've gone through so much hardship in life and that's why when certain 18 year olds when you talk to them you know that they've been through some things in life which makes them more mature than a lot of other people and being 18 years old they can date and relate to someone who's 25, 26 years old why? because they're on the same page conversely speaking there are also people people whom I've met who are 40 plus, 50 plus, and I'm sorry to say, I mean, no disrespect, but they are not mature people at all, even though they've gone through so much, in, I mean, so work stages in life, not not hardships in life, but stages of life, working, getting promotions, meeting clients, whatever not, but they're still not mature in their thinking, in the way they talk, in the way they carry themselves. So maturity, I think, although yes, it comes with age, mm-hmm. sure, but maturity is really the result of your background, the result of you growing up in certain environments, in certain, you know, climates of your life that makes you mature. So yeah, that's yeah, just what yeah. I think of maturity. Yeah, no, so so is it safe, yeah. yeah. safe to say that different people have different perception of what they think maturity is? Exactly. That's why yeah. I said let's just define maturity because you talked about maturity being someone going for clubbing, someone. No, no. There, I mean, when I say clubbing and stuff like that, it means like stages of life. That means yeah. they've experienced a lot of things. They've experienced heartbreak. They've experienced uh, being independent, not independent. Yeah. They're going through a lot of things in life right. to kind of have them, you know, understand that. Look, I know how to take mm. care of myself. Now, I'm just saying that. Okay, if you're gonna date someone who's really young, like let's say if you're 30 years old and you're gonna be dating someone who is like, you know, 18 years old, yeah. all right? It's like, they're just about to explore that. I know. And then it's like, don't you feel like, you know, this person who's gone through that is gonna be sort of like a father figure? Yeah, I would feel like the older person would think like, oh, um, if we break up, it's just gonna be another breakup. But yeah. for the younger one, maybe he think like, he or she may think like, oh my God, like, I, I treat him or her as like my life, you know, because like, you know, when you first start out in a relationship or whatever, especially when you're younger, mm-hmm. you tend to, you know, not, yeah, how to say, uh, like, you would think of that person as everything, you know, because you really don't know how to feel and stuff. You, you know, you take love too seriously, mm. that kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. And then as you grow older, you realize like, oh, okay, that person shouldn't be your everything. But again, that's very individual, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? It's very I individual. I thought I'll put it in I, I, I know yeah, what you I mean, mean because at 30 years old, you've gone through adulting, you know, there are many other facets to life where there's working, yeah. your, your career, you know, you're climbing a corporate ladder. So relationship is 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 a big thing, but it's not maybe the biggest thing to you, or it's, it's one of the big things for you. But for an eighteen year old who has nothing, not to say nothing to look forward to, but just started out in life, and you're in that phase where you're so in love, and it's someone who is working, and you look up to that person so much, and you see this person as your everything, mm-hmm. the love of your life, the apple of your eye, and you, you see that person as your entire being. So I get the difference in perception, but that's yeah. also again depending tied on to the majority, person, right? and yes, yeah. depending on the person. But I guess we have to speak for like the mass majority lah. yeah so that's why for me having said that mm. defining maturity already I still do agree to a certain extent that the age gap should, shouldn't be too wide because the stages of life do affect your relationship as well Yeah, you know what I mean in terms of just normal conversations in terms of just hey how was your day and you want to explain something and to relate to that person when you're going through different stages or when you're in different stages of life, it's going to affect your relationship. Because mm-hmm. like I said, if I'm going to be talking about working and then my my partner who's maybe 10 years younger than me who's probably still in uni, I'm sorry to say, but I'm, I'm going to be a little bit uninterested in what you say as much as I want to listen to you. But if you're going to mm-hmm. talk about assignments, when I'm here so stressed out at work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you would think like, oh, I, I'm dealing with more like more stressful yeah, things than you. Exactly. Why would he be right? even dating the girl from university in the first place? Okay, I, I'm so sorry that we're, already t- we're being very one-sided. We're always talking about the guy being the older one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it can't go the other way And too. the girl being the younger one. What if it's the other way? I don't know. I, I, I hardly hear cases of of uh, you know uh, women who are dating men who are like more than five years or six years their junior. I've never heard of it. I yeah, one or two years, yes, you know. I have, a, I have friends. You have friends, but that's completely normal, though. I think yeah, it's, it's normal, normal for girls. Like I have a friend who dated someone who was like one year her junior, two years her junior. I just think it's completely fine. But if it's like five 
years and above, I think it's like kind of, I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable. I don't, I'm not saying that it's wrong, but yeah. to me, I just think it's like, oh, kind of, it's kind of weird. No, eh, for me, I feel like if the girl is older than the guy, that will mean the guy actually is really mature. Oh, really? Yeah, because they always say that girls mature faster than guys, mm. right? So yeah. guys should always date someone younger than them mm-hmm. Yeah, to kind of level it out. But if the girl is older than the guy in the relationship, I feel like the guy is actually really mature to you be see, able to handle the I, girl. Like for you, right, Jin? Yeah. Like you always, you say this now, like for you, you always see the guy as the older one because he's going to be more mature. So yeah, you're going to date I know. someone younger than you. Yeah. For me, when I was growing up, I... I like older girls. Really? I really do, yeah. I actually oh, prefer- Oh, Brandon. Is it because you think, it it because they think the girls no. that are younger than you are very childish? Yes. <laughs> how old it's were true. you? How old were you when you thought, when you all, thought about- when All you were through thinking my like life. All oh, through really? My life. Yeah, when I was growing up, I always liked an older girl, at least two years older than is, me. Is Phoebe older than you? No, <laughs> she's three days older than me. Okay, <laughs> she's still older than like, <laughs> Just three days older. Wow, Brandon. <laughs> I started off really strong and then I just went from the <laughs> three days older. I know. I sh- hey, to think of it, right? I've never dated someone who is same age as me. No, never. Younger, until now, lah. But, uh, <laughs> but before that, I've always been dating someone older than me. Job, you said until now. Because <laughs> he was younger. Oh. Okay. oh. <laughs> he's one year younger. Uh, I, but he's mature, lah. So okay. Mm. I okay. I don't know why I have this perception. I may be wrong, okay? I don't, and there's no disrespect to any couples who are currently uh, in this, in this, like, you know, in this uh, age gap thing that I'm gonna be talking about. If a guy is like, uh, let's say, 40 years old mm-hmm. and he's dating someone who's like probably 21 or 22, I kind of feel that's not right. <laughs> You feel like there's something just weird or strange. Yeah. Him, right? It's like you're dating your dad. Okay, la, but I feel like as long as they're happy, it's fine. Although yeah. it's weird, but you know, some people really Okay, okay, like- fine, fine. At the end of the day, if both of them are happy, we we should be happy for them. Yeah, we, I mean, yeah. we cannot judge. We can't judge. But yeah. you see, the thing it. is, there's this whole stigma going around with yeah. their group of friends. You know, they'll be the talk of, they'll be the center of attention. They'll be, they'll be the, the, the they'll be a topic amongst their friends. They'll be like, you know, like, oh, uh, you know, she's dating some guy uh, who's 20 years her senior and they'll never ever meet him. And then he will probably never ever meet her friends because, you know, the age gap is there. I mean, like, you know what I mean? I know what you mean, and I know why you're saying that because I I don't have the statistics. Okay, I don't. I'm not a scientist. I haven't actually mm. read out on statistics before I said this. But because, unfortunately, right, it's, we're not being mean, or you know. But unfortunately, I've also experienced people who have gone through that kind of relationships where the guy is forty plus and the lady yeah. is 21, 22 years old, and they eventually break up. Really, mm-hmm. they do. A lot of them, the, a lot of percentage of them whom I know, they actually break up. And that's why we think like that. Why? Yeah. Because we actually see them not ending up together. Yet. Yeah. Is it? it it's yeah. like, it's like are you, I don't know lah. I feel like the girl has a lot more to lose. Eh. I, I, have, it's a, like, it's I like, have a friend, right, who only date guys who are really old, like way older. Why? Yeah. I why? don't know. Monetary? Maturity? I think maturity bar. I really? I sure. Yeah, like she. I, I guess she just can't stand the guys, like around like her age. I don't think maturity is the answer, though. To be honest, I, I don't I, yeah, know. I feel not like the uh, one of the answers maybe. Yeah, not uh-huh. the answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Because okay, let, okay. Let me let me explain. All right, if you're gonna be dating someone who is twenty years your senior, all right. Okay lah, not don't say twenty years lah. Okay, let's say ten years your senior lah. Okay, when you get married. Let's say, for example, uh, okay, let's talk about a girl's point of view here. Okay, the, the, the girl, uh, what's the perfect age for a girl to get married? I'd say like 26, 26, 26 25, 26, 26. This, that person would be 36, right? Yeah. Then, you know, after, you know, by the time they get married and they have kids, he'll be like 40. And then, you know what I mean? It's everything. No, I think it's still okay. But if, let's say, the girl is older, right? Then it's more stressful for the guy, I feel. Oh, yeah, it is. Because, yeah, because I've, girls have like this peak age one. Mm. But you they, have they, no, a lot of people say that the girls should always have kids before they're 30. Yeah, exactly. Because exactly. it's because more. That's their peak, ah. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot. Uh, there's a higher risk of something. Uh, there's a higher risk if you start. Uh, conceiving after the age of 30. Mm-hmm. The risks are higher. Mm-hmm. Not to say that you're, you're gonna, but to say that the risks are higher. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. I yeah. it's this. You see, right? The more we talk about it, right? We're kind of like, okay, we don't, it's not like we don't want to support. It's not like we mm-hmm. want to support, but you know, it's like, 
it's, I don't know. If you guys are watching, maybe you tell us what you guys think, you know, when it comes to age gap. For mm. us, there is a certain age, I guess, where we start to get a little bit uncomfortable. But at the same time, you know, we've really defined it, what maturity means to us. So you can be 20 years your senior, like you said. But if that girl who's 20 years old is super duper mature, you know, and she can hold her own, then maybe, yeah, the relationship could actually yeah. work out. I mean, we're not judging. Like, yeah. It's just our personal preference, you know. Yeah. I, like, I prefer someone who is like three years and not, beyond that kind of thing mm. yeah but sometimes you know if you really like that person it could be an exception I don't know to be yeah. honest I, I, I'm i not okay like uh, I will say like the gap uh, the years the age gap would probably be for me the most at most is five alright let's say yeah, let's six close. is okay too yeah. but if it's like t- anything like ten and above yeah. it's kind of like I don't really I wouldn't want my daughter to date someone like you know mm. like ten years her senior because you know mm. why this this Okay, let's say if she, okay at the age of eighty, she dates someone who was twenty eight. The guy has probably gone out there, done a lot of things and yeah, stuff like that. And, and you know, he's able to sort of like coerce my daughter and tell her like, hey, you know what, this is okay, this is you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. The exactly, younger one yeah. will always tend to basically you know uh, trust the older one because you know, hey, I'm older, I'm known. You know, if my daughter is like twenty eight and she's dating a thirty eight year old. It's okay, right? Because she's been through so many things. Really yeah, actually, right? you know what? If now, yeah. now that you say, it, if I say it that way, it's actually pretty okay. Yeah, That's exactly. I mean. It depends on age. Yeah, it, when, like, when let's you say get, if you are younger, mm. uh, like 15, 14, uh, of course, if you have a child, right, you wouldn't want them to date someone way older. Yeah. Because you will feel like they're too naive. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, it's cannot, okay. Like, by the time, talk. okay, if my kid, my kid is, by the time my kid is 28 years old, she should be already mature enough to be able to be independent and make her own decisions. Mm-hmm. And when you're still like 18 years old, you're still, you're still the teenage years, what? Right? You're still discovering yourself. You know, you're going to college. You know, you're going to go into <laughs> a group of uh, people, a group of, uh, a group, a group of, you're going to go into a group assignment knowing that this fella doesn't do work. This fella's very hardworking. Everything is all you and stuff like that. You're going to, you're going to meet a lot of friends. You're going to, you're going to basically go through a lot of life experiences. I, I, I would prefer like my daughter, I would prefer my daughter to go through those life experiences instead of just locking yourself down to yeah. this person who is like you know really 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 mature and she's forced to grow up just like that hey, but i have friends right who are in this like big age gap uh relationships right usually the person who is older they tend to be more afraid of losing the younger one because of you know they haven't been through so much yeah. so let's say if they really go through life experiences right and then they realize like oh maybe this person is not for me yep yeah so yeah that's I think, I think, I think that's a great idea. point. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. a great point. And I just back to what we said when we started, you know, it's true. Like when it's young, yeah. like you said just now, you give the perfect example. Mm-hmm. If your daughter is 18 years old and she's dating someone who's 28 years old, you're going to feel something is not right. Yeah. But if she's 28 and she's dating someone 38 years old, then it starts to, the yeah. life starts I, to I, I would, Okay, yeah, I would, I would, okay, I would be like, but you know, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, you know what, Loi, you are, I, you're, you're old enough to, to I would still, I, I think so I would still go there and say like, look, do you want to think about this? you want to think about this? But you know, if she tells me, uh, you know, I really love this person and stuff that I, I she's old enough to make her own decision. Yeah. I have to respect that, right? For me it's not year la. I just feel like I'm scared that it won't work out. Yeah, because usually the older ones, right, mm-hmm. they are they are in a relationship because they want to settle down already. Yeah. And not to say the younger one is not, but they're not at the stage where they should yet. Mm. You know, because they have so many op- opportunities to meet different people. So it's really hard to, you know, just tie yourself down to just yeah i mean like again no again those listening no disrespect because yeah. we know we're only talking from the angle of a girl dating an older guy because we have never ever heard uh of a uh, a guy dating like a woman like 10 years his senior or anything like that because most of the time you know when we have a, when a group of friends right? like for me in I my group it. of friends i have a girl i have a, a friend who was a girl who dates someone who's 20 years her senior and all and trust me to be honest like sometimes all of us just like talk about it like you know it, it's like you're like making it's not when i'm making fun i'm like oh my god she's dating someone who's 20 years you know we've never ever seen the guy you know and the guy will never come and hang out with us mm. you know and nor will we go and hang out with the guy's friends it's it's like you know you, you know what i mean yeah, i kind of feel bad for my friend as well because every time she's not around and every time she has problems with the guy, who does she speak to? She can't speak to my friends because everybody will be like, uh, I don't know how to advise you lah because you know, you're know you dating like your uncle or your dad or stuff like that. You know, they will, they'll be like, uh, yeah. how do I advise you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, they're going to say the same thing. You know, you know maybe it's, they're going to come to a conclusion or not, they're not, they're not going to come to a conclusion. That's one of the reasons are going to be, maybe it's because he's older than you. You know, maybe that's, you know, you have personality clash. He is this and you are this. So I, I, I don't know. It's, it's again, it's, it's kind of weird la, to see a huge age gap. For me, 
any anywhere between three to five is fine, or yeah, three to eight, or or, or actually, actually, <laughs> I would say three to like just before ten is fine. So for you, I mean, we can conclude this by saying how we feel. Number one, and then number two, what's your what do you think for you is three to nine years? You would yeah, say. yeah, but but if you're old enough, yeah. If you're old, okay, I would, okay, when are you old enough? I say that once you've finished studying, once you've graduated, you come out and work for a couple of years, right? And then you basically, you know, fell in love with a person in a workplace. You know, uh, like you go out and you work in your, in, your, in your working environment and then, you know, through your, 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 your network of friends, right, you manage to meet this person and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden you fall in love with this person. Then, and then you realize that, oh, shit, he's like, he's like eight years my senior. But then again, it's different, you see? You know, it's different. Yeah, but... I have seen relationships that work though, like what, with a huge age gap. What about you, Shu Fei? Like, I mean, just to conclude, like for him, it's three to nine years, and then for, what, what's the appropriate age gap? Like, not too big, not too small. So, what's what's the age gap for you? I think since young, I I don't know. It's just my preference, lah. I would prefer someone not older than three years, or I guess younger than three. Years. I never really thought about younger though. When I was younger, it's always older. Mm. I I kind of I, I kind of feel that like um the reason why I don't want an age gap to be I would I, I would advise my daughter lah the reason why you shouldn't date someone with such a huge age gap is because when you get into a relationship with someone right and you it's there's a lot more than just getting into a relationship you know you guys are technically growing up together and mm-hmm. when you grow up together right I would I would prefer you to basically grow up with someone who's within the same wavelengths and both you can experience new things together yeah, you know what yeah, I mean yeah. Yeah. if you go into a relationship with someone who's like 10 years your senior say hey I want to go to Disneyland yeah I've been there before like, you know it's boring mm-hmm. hey I want to go watch Toy Story nah it's not great <laughs> you know hey I want to yeah. play PUBG huh PUBG what's that you know I mean? like, you know, some things that you would want to try may not be uh may not be you know, of interest to the person who is older. But then again, it could be the other way around as well. Whatever the person wants, the more older person wants, the older person wants to do, may not be appealing to the person who is younger. It's like, hey, um, I, you know, I want to go rock climbing. He's like, huh? You know what I mean? I want to go and uh, fly my private jet. Huh, private jet? Oh, I'm just kidding. I, I will fly <laughs> the private jet. <laughs> I, I will fly the private jet. <laughs> but I think all that is, Depends on law. Some people just because they're older doesn't mean they they won't be interested. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Then this is where I will I will come back in. Like I had a friend. Okay. Who dated a guy who was probably twenty years her senior. That time we were in college, lah. Uh, mm-hmm. I think we were like, oh no 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 not college after college maybe we were twenty one twenty two years old. So twenty years her senior. Uh, that guy will be about forty years old, lah. We all gonna play paintball, and he didn't want to come play paintball because you know because he's childish. <laughs> you, you see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know? Uh, that's, yeah. That's I mean, he I didn't think. say it to us. I mean, he said said it to her and then mm. she kind of like spilled the beans to one person and because it's such a huge topic, right? It's a big topic amongst all of us. Like she's dating someone 20 years a senior and we all be insulted lah. Huh? You call us childish. It's like, mm, who are you to call us childish? You know what I mean? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. That's why I think we can all agree. Like for you, it's about three years to five years or something. And I share the same sentiment as you guys as well because it's just not about when you, when you, you, you made a great point, you know, when you're going in a relationship, it's not just going in a relationship, you're growing up and you're growing old together. Yeah. That is the most important thing. And I feel like, you know, if they say you're in different, again, the keyword for me here is different stages of life. That's mm-hmm. why I say the lines blur as you get older. Why? Because you do experience like if you're 28, like you say your daughter is 28 and the guy is 30. Eight. They're still in their working life right now, so they can still complement one another. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they will eventually fall into a different stage of life as they get older. That's why yeah. I say it's like a bell shape. Yeah. But having always s- fall back, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. But having said that, you know, to be in the same stage of life gives you so much more advantage, yeah. I feel. Yep. Because you know, you sort of like I say, normal things like hey, housework. If you're still studying, you're just asking just for the sake of asking. You're also going to be listening just because, you know, hey, okay lah, because just to just to lie on you lah, I'll answer your question. Yeah, and then if like, let's it. say your your girlfriend or your boyfriend is like still in uni or whatever and you're working, right? Then you tell him about your work, right? I doubt that that person can relate, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just it's just not that, it, we're, we're not saying that it will not work, right? Again, yeah, not, yeah we're not saying that, like people in relationships yeah. like that, that work. Yeah, it's yeah. just our general consensus that uh, I think is the three of us personal belief that, you know, being in the same stage of life helps the relationship. That's all we're saying. It's not that if you're in different stages of life, your relationship will not work. That's not what we're saying. But are they still together, this one who was 20 years the senior? No. It's more difficult. <sighs> la, yeah, they're not. Are, I mean, yeah. okay, look, look. I mean, not to say it's impossible, but it's more difficult. Mm, yeah, I mean, I mean, like, this, I mean, the guy that my friend's dating, this person that I know is dating 20 years uh, her senior, I mean, he's rich. I mean, like, mm. when the first year, first few months together, I bought her a car. You <laughs> what, know what I mean? What if? What if? Okay, because 
we always think it's money. We always think the crux of the issue is money because the person is dating that one who is so much older because of the dollar sign. Yeah, the security. Yeah. Of- the security of the future, or whatever, yeah. you know. So what if we, we take that out of the equation? Like, if someone who is 20 years, the girl is 20 years, and then the guy is 40 years, and that 40-year-old guy is poor as crap. Yep. Would that then sort of widen your perspective to think that, okay, this is really love now? No, but I think if you are younger and you date an older guy, right? Yeah. Who ha- doesn't have that financial yeah. stability, right? I think the younger one wouldn't care so much until he, she reaches or he reaches a point where, oh, actually all these matter. Then I mean, you okay, I feel. Yeah, I have had some friends who yeah. are, like when I was in college, they think guys who are already out there in the working world, maybe 12 years her senior, mm-hmm. Um, cool lah. I mean, because okay, we were eighteen years old, so he's thirty years old. Thirty years old is still counted, counted as young, ma, mm, right? Yeah. So he probably still he okay lah. That, to be honest, that guy was to, now that you think about it, that guy's quite a loser lah. Because <laughs> <laughs> he always <laughs> play sports cars, you know, always uh, you know, do all those naughty stuff, got drinking, you know, substances and, and and whatever not. But like to her, it's like oh no, he's cool and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, he's the bad guy. He's the bad guy. Ding 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 ding. Yeah, ding, it's ding, like when ding, you're younger, what you ding, think ding, is cool ding. may not be cool when you're older. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then after like she dated him for like maybe four years, and after that she just dumped him. She's like, okay, you know what? To be honest, I I that's not what I want in life. Mm. But she went through it. Okay, she went through it. And after she dated another guy who also was a bit older, but not as old, like maybe about five six years, which is I think completely okay, fine. Okay, yeah, she's completely fine. But like, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> it's very hard to be very politically correct in this one because, okay, for me, I would prefer if uh, couples would probably, you know, not have such a large age gap between each other because I feel that a relationship should be, uh, you know, a, a collaboration between two parties mm-hmm. and they should basically learn new things and go through new experiences together. Then in other words, growing up together. Mm-hmm. If you're going to be, uh, you know, dating someone who's like really, 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 really old, you know, like 10 years or more or like 20 years or more, it's, it's just, there's going to be some sort of emptiness. La. You, you, I, I just feel that, you know, you always have to follow with the person who is more experienced. You follow the person who has been there longer, right? And you basically will miss out on your teenage years or your youth. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like for me, right? Because yeah. like I said, I always wanted like someone who is like not over the mm. three-year gap. Mm-hmm. Like for me now, I feel like although that doesn't matter so much anymore, it's more of like, I don't want to be with someone who is like in a rush to get married. Mm. Uh, because yeah. for me now, I don't want to get married. <laughs> so yeah. you know, there are some guys like, maybe they're like, they reach to a certain point where like, okay, I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to get married. I want to find a wife. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want that. Okay. Yeah. And can you imagine the arguments that happen when they argue? I mean, it's going to be so annoying for the younger party whether girl or guy and the older one's just going to slap his or her uh, experience over you and saying, oh, sick, you, talk, like, sick, my, you have to listen to me. Can you imagine the arguments that goes on, right? The yeah. guy's going to be, I'm more experienced than you. I went through more in life more, so you have to listen to me. Yeah, go to your room. No, I mean, <laughs> 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 grounded for one week. <laughs> no allowance. Yeah, but okay. Huh, um, yeah, I mean, I want to ask another question, but like for me is, I think that should be, that sh- should be a question that should be left for another yeah. another episode. Like for me, mm. I, I feel like even now I'm okay with dating younger guys also, but shouldn't be too young. Bah. If it was five yeah. years younger? Cannot. Cannot, right? At least one, two years are there. Uh, one, two years yeah, is okay. fine. Yeah. All right, one, two years is fine. No, but she's saying five years because of her age right now. If yeah, she's, right now. Yeah, exactly. That's why she's saying five years if cannot. It, if I was, if I was, if was like back 30. in high school, right, I wouldn't date someone younger. Two okay, years. Uh-huh. let's take age out of the equation right now. Mm. Okay, you're in college. Would you date someone who's in high school? Mm, probably not. Yeah. Probably same not. same here. Probably. When not. I'm in college, I wouldn't date someone who's in high school. Yeah, but even let's though say- it's the year, even okay lah, maybe even though if the years is just like two or three, I wouldn't date someone from high school. Yeah, same. But I feel like if let's say he's younger than me, but we are both in uni, yep. it's still okay. Yeah, it's still okay because yeah. both of us are going through the same thing right now. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. If I was working, I wouldn't date someone from uni. Yeah. Yeah. If I was like in the working world, I wouldn't want to date someone in uni because I yeah, it's like just two different worlds, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, but it depends on their maturity also. La. They have to be able to handle me. I have, I have to be able to handle them. It mm. is okay, I guess. Yeah. Maturity, la. it's a big word yeah. also. La, you know, so, so I mean, okay, the thing is, don't get us wrong, you know, there are relationships that actually work. 10-year yeah, 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 gaps, 12-year 12, 12 gaps. I'm sure they are, all right? Mm. We're not saying that nothing works, but it's just our own, our own, our own preference, right? Mm. So, I mean, like, what do you guys think? You know, we would love to hear from you guys. I mean, this this topic suggestion came from a listener. We would like to think, what about... What 
what what what our other listeners think as well. Those watching, you know, it's it's, it's is age gap a matter? If it's not a if it's not an issue, if it's an if an issue, if it's in even <laughs> there we are. I can't even talk properly. <laughs> if age gap is an issue, okay, what's the maximum age gap before it's not okay? Is that yeah. did I did I phrase yeah, that correctly? That's phrase, yeah, 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 exactly right. What's yeah, you know, maximum. Like for you, it's three to nine years. For her, it's like five years. For me, so it's, it ranges to three to five years for me. Yeah, but for me, because now I have a daughter, I would hey, say three, three, five years. Oh, you don't know five years. Three, three years, years is it? Ah, uh, three years. For me, so it's actually three years lah. For me, because I have a daughter, I'll say uh, the most also is five years lah. <laughs> you were nine years just now. <laughs> yeah, yeah those, those are those are friends. Okay, those are friends. Okay, I won't judge you. Okay lah, but at the end of the day, I feel like if you really like that person, sometimes age gap. Really, it doesn't really matter. Uh. Yeah, but you have- But there are factors that say. Okay. okay. This is what I would say to someone who wants to date someone who's about 20 years her senior. I'm so sorry. I'm not sure. I don't know why I'm always going to girls, but you know, I because yeah. Okay, whether, okay, whatever. If you're a guy or a girl dating someone who is 10 years and above your senior, right? I would just say this. You have to be prepared of the different, different backlashes that you're going to get. Yep. Number one, you are probably- I'm not saying you are, you're probably going to miss out on whatever your friends do or whatever mm-hmm. not, because you know, you're going to be spending most of your time hanging out with, you know, your loved one. Right. Yep. And uh, at the same time, you know, you're going to be forcing yourself to grow up a lot faster yep. and you're probably going to dis- dis- disconnect uh, from, you know, your group of friends, your family members are going to be talking about you. You're going to have a lot of people talking behind your back. So if you're ready to put that all aside and not care about what, anyone talks about you because you are so in love if in your own world with your partner, then I think you're ready. Okay, it's fine. You know, but if you cannot take that stress that comes with dating someone who is uh, way older than you, then you just might want to think twice. Yeah. And to be honest, do not use money as a factor. I would, I, I don't know. I always, I will say never ever date someone, you know, who is rich. Because at the end of the day, you know, if you, if you are just going to, be fully dependent on someone uh, who is super rich, then you know it's just it's gonna come with a lot of setbacks. I, I prefer, you know, if you really date someone and you know so happen work together to build something that is comfortable for the both of you. That's even more valuable. Yeah, but make sure also if like the age gap is really big, right? Make sure that the older one, uh, he has goals. You know, yeah, he or she has goals. Exactly. Not just, you know, like, you know, like you know, he's a forty-year-old bum, a forty-year-old yeah. bum that you know is jobless and stuff like that. Mm. I have no idea why you still did, why why you dating that guy lah, or that yeah. girl, <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, that's 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 what I have to say. I don't know. Yeah. What, what about you, Brandon? What, what, what's your what's your wrap up of this? I think yeah, I think I, for me, maturity is a big word that we've been talking about the entire podcast. Number two, the age gap. You know, being being having said again, you know, it slowly blurs out. But the most important thing is your stage of life that you're in. And number two, the maturity. You can be really yep. old, but if you're really matured and like Jin said, if you're really prepared, you need to know what you're going into in a relationship. That tells a lot about your maturity as well. If you're 20 years old and you're going into a relationship where you're 40, dating someone is 40, but you know you're re- ready for it then fine no, no problem at all we'll all support you as friends as your close son if you're not ready then don't do it because you know why you're gonna re- unfortunately you're gonna suffer yeah yeah you're gonna suffer Shufei, Shufei. What, 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 do you, what do you think <laughs> ditto how much you guys just said okay. I don't have, I don't have to repeat it yeah but I feel like age gap it matters but not it's not like the everything lah it yeah. doesn't it's, it's not it's not the come key. into play yeah, yeah I know you should date that person or not so mm-hmm. yeah Okay. As long as you're happy, kai sing hao. Yeah. You know what? Thank you, Sabrina, for actually sending in that <laughs> topic for us to talk about. <laughs> uh, we're, I feel like we're it's 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 all over the place, you know, for this topic because we don't want to victimize the to, yeah. older people who are dating people who are younger or victimize the people who are dating older people. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's your choice, man. And as long as you know what comes with it, we are all supportive of what you do. You know what will make you feel better? What? Damakan! Yeah. <laughs> yes, we like to say, yeah, get ready. We like to say thank you to Damakan for sponsoring this episode. Um, you can use our code BTASTY, M-A-M-A-K, BTASTY MAMA for 12 ringgit off your first purchase. Remember, some of the orders come with two donuts from Krispy Kreme while stocks last. Thank you very much for listening to us. We will speak to you next time, guys. Woo!